Here it is, the 5th of June, we're raking hay. So I hauled 91 bales yesterday, and there's 10 in the field. So you got a, over 100 bales made. I guess maybe it, it ain't that many acres yet, but after today it will be. Uh, we're raking like a some bitch right now. Like, it is crazy how dry it is. Like, it is really dry. No humidity, 90 degrees, sunny, and 15 mile an hour wind. It's just drying everything to hell, which is good for making hay, but this don't change after we get the hay bale for the corn crop and second crop. We ain't gonna have much of a corn crop or second crop. It's, the ground's freaking dry really bad. We haven't had much rain. Like we had six tenths a week and a half ago, but we were dry as hell before then, and that's all pretty much gone. So, uh, the hay's yielding really good, which we're definitely going to need it. You know, some fields better than others, but overall pretty good, pretty good second crop. The H&S 12 wheel right down here, this is a good alfalfa field. Not much grass in here, good quality stuff here, but, yeah. So we cut this field Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, this farm, I guess. Just took the whole day, you know. And it's Saturday morning at like 8, 9.30. And we're just raking away. Crazy, man. These wind rows are freaking massive. I don't even know how the baler's gonna get it in the pickup, really. Since we don't have a mega wide, it's not as wide. We really should get a wide baler, like. Gosh, damn, this is like four bale an acre, if not five bale an acre. We do 65.5 inch round bale, so it ain't quite a full size round bale, but it's, I don't know, pretty close. I think a full size round bale is what, 70, 72 inches, 74, something like that. So a couple inches shorter, but this is crazy, man. But we're gonna need it because if it don't rain, we ain't gonna have much of a second crop, so I gotta make up for it.
These, this field's pretty well grass. There's some alfalfa mixed in. The other side was more alfalfa. It had a little grass mixed in the opposite way. But, man, those rakes make a nice fluffy windrow. When you got air inside the windrow, that's what you want. That field right there has some bigger windrows, but this is still pretty damn good. I had to widen the back of the rake out here, what, six inches? because it'll ball up in here or this wheel will just lift up because it's just so much freaking volume going through but we're gonna be hauling hay for days man got the old 4440 on here the seat uh the, the valve for the seat ride i think is needs rebuilt because the seat goes all the way up and it stays there. There's no cushion at all. It's it's terrible. It's rough riding this out. But we cut hay like that. Halfway through it happened, and now we're gonna rake all the hay like this. But just kind of had to deal with it. There's nothing in the way. It's just you have the lever down for height, and the second you start it up, it goes straight to the top, and it goes like there's no movement at all. It's not fun. 